Okay, so John Otto asks, how can, you forgot a word, I'm assuming, how can he attract magical creatures? Uh, I was thinking about putting up pictures of fairies and dragons in his room might help. How exactly do people call them? Is there a special way like a prayer or spell? Uh, there are prayers and spells, uh, and I don't think you need them. Uh, you might, if you, you can go through and you can look at the prayers and the spells if they feel good. Uh, whatever you do, do not call any of them as I need. I need, please, please, don't ever do that. In the first place, they won't be dragons or fairies or magical creatures. They'll be people, entities from the geckos and the pigeons, probably the pigeons, that will be answering your call. So no neediness um, on the prayers and the spells or in any way. Um, they're always around you, so you can just talk to them. Um, they, in the fifth dimension, linear time space is much more fluid. So you can literally, whatever, whatever magical creature you're interested in, um, you, you can just stop, start talking to them. Uh, like they're right next to you. Uh, then listen, listen, they're all telepathic. Every single one of them are telepathic. And you can absolutely talk to any of them. Now, magical creatures are on a higher vibration. So you want to be in a very happy state, the happiest state you can be in. Um, different magical creatures are on different vibrations. Um, fairies tend to be very silly, silly, funny. Uh, vibration. Uh, let's see, unicorns are much more calm, much more calm vibration. Uh, very, very calm, very calm. So what you need to do is you need to decide on what magical creature that you're interested in talking to and then you want to um, be as calm and pleasant or happier as you can and talk to them. You know, make your surrounding area calming uh, some incense pretty lighting fire all the elements are good um, and then just talk to them just talk to them like you would a friend say unicorn say hey unicorn um, I'm just interested in you I've always been interested in you and I'd really like to talk to you and then just talk about your day instead of going on Facebook and typing to the humans about what you're doing in the day Talk to the magical creatures, and uh, it'll draw them closer and closer, and then listen. And then try to get all the stuff, the other stuff out of your way and listen, and eventually you will hear them. Um, fairies, first time you hear them in your head, it's going to sound very chattery. Uh, they tend to talk over each other, and they talk all at once. So it takes a while to get them to, hey, one at a time. So they would not be the first my first pick on magical creatures to talk to first. So, but if they're who you're drawn to, then that's who you need to talk to. As they're jabbering in my head. <laughs> but that's what my suggestion would be for now. Um, when Stephanie brings out her magical creature book, she'll have information, and I'll have her inf add information on how to communicate with them, how to get their attention, what's the best way. And I'll have her include that in the book. Um, until then, um, if you've got a specific magical creature you're interested in, ask me about that, and I'll give you more information. Okay? All right, then. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for all your support through PayPal and Patreon and the sessions. Much, much appreciated. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll check you later. Bye now.